A Portland musician will make history this coming weekend at a NASCAR event. Mike Phillips will play the national anthem at the Pocono 350 in Pennsylvania. And it is one of the first major NASCAR events since the organization banned the Confederate flag. Our Ken Body has a story in this week's Where We Live. I play it in NBA games, um, All Stars, Finals. So, you know, I'm the go to guy in sports for, you know, a national anthem. Portland's Mike Phillips says playing the national anthem at NASCAR has special significance because of the times. I said to myself, I didn't want to do it at first. Then I saw Bubba. Bubba is Bubba Wallace, the only full time African American driver in NASCAR's Cup Series. Wallace pushed for NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag, a symbol of slavery and Southern racism for many African Americans. NASCAR agreed. Wallace's all black race car now represents Black Lives Matter and unity. It's not that we're saying no other lives matter. It's we were trying to say that Black Lives Matter too. I'm happy that they did it. And you know, frankly, I was surprised. For Phillips, the first musician ever to get a Nike shoe contract, playing the national anthem at NASCAR is a chance to make a statement about African Americans and patriotism. I want to pay tribute to the black servicemen. So meanwhile I'm playing, you'll see a shot cut to Colin Powell, um, Tuskegee Airmen. People with my skin color fought for this country and then had to come back and then fight the people that was fighting them in America. So as NASCAR takes steps to become more inclusive, Mike Phillips is a Portland connection to a national movement. Ken Body, Coin 6 News. And NASCAR is racing without fans, so Phillips will be giving a virtual performance played on the big screen. Uh, the Pocono 350 is this coming Sunday.